you've got great voice. Like it's it's really enjoyable to listen to. Like I'm listening to it and then I'm like, this is such a great story. Like this is so good. And then I'm like, oh wait, I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Storytelling feels so real. Like I'm just overjoyed i couldn't I've, I've never i've never done anything like this before i was learning the ropes as we were going on you you were great you were great to guide me in every step of the way which is brilliant i just can't thank you enough because like you say when i was listening to my story, he I was like, story. Your voice, how well and professional you are i was like what else is a good story isn't it <laughs> oh it's mine <laughs> you have such a variety of uh, voices but what makes them really really good is your heart you can relate to all of these different characters you know as you were uh narrating this book it, it was like you became them you're actually really easy to work with i'm not gonna lie like it was actually a, a pretty fun experience for me um you made it actually really simple you just, uh, you told me like, this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna break it in different parts. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm like, okay, cool. I, I listen to review it, send it back to you. you. You send the next part. I'm like, oh, this is this is nice. This is easy. I thought it would be a lot harder, <laughs> honestly. I thought it would take me like months to actually find a, 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 the, the right narrator. But when I saw you and I heard the stuff that you did, I was like, I'm gonna have to get them. <laughs> we are really like entertained by the way you bring the characters to life. I think I think I could have guessed that Marcus was your favorite because every time he comes on, we're like, here he comes. He's gonna do the Marcus because it's it's so entertaining. We're we're really having fun listening to him. People who have already subscribed to Audible and gotten the book, and they said like, oh, I love the book. So thank you so much. They love uh, your narration, and I've been getting video uh, direct messages already. And I didn't expect it that quickly. They're like, I was the first one. Once I saw that link, I just went and got it. You did the male voices and the main narration. So you had a much bigger project. I'm maybe 20, 25% of it. The rest of it is, is your recording. And anyway, when you made that offer to like record, for me to record the voices and put them together, like I, I thought maybe you were just being nice, but I was like, well, I'm just gonna ask them. <laughs> like, you know. Because of your voice and because you know how to read so well, it makes me sound smarter in the process. It's, <laughs> okay, it's like so a we both street, right? No, <laughs> you know, I wasn't no oh, damn. That's pretty good stuff. Who wrote that? Oh yeah, it's his voice. I will tell you, I was afraid to listen to your audition because I was like, is this gonna work? Because you did shadows so well. And I'm like, this is a completely different type of book. I mean, it is worlds away from Shadow Slayers. So I was like concerned. When I saw your name pop up as an audition, and I was like, am I going to like this? Am I going to hate it? What am I going to do? Because I didn't want to like jeopardize our Shadow Slayers relationship because you're a fantastic narrator for the Slayers. And I'm like, oh, what's going to happen? And then I listened to it and I was like, this is like worlds different. You didn't even sound like you, like the you I'm used to listening to for Shadow Slayers. So I was really impressed at how different you know, you read um, the book as it should be read, and it was completely different from the way you read Shadow Slayers, which is obviously a completely different series. And I've listened to what, obviously, everything you've done so far many times over. And what I have uh, come to the conclusion is an audio book gives a book a third dimension. So I'm on the computer typing. And then I see a notification from ACX that you, um, Grand Mac, um, auditioned for it. You have a new audition. I was like, okay, let's see what happens. Because I already told God, I'm not, I'm going to go with anyone. So I don't care. And then once you started talking, I was like, oh my gosh. I ran to my coworker's office. I was like, can you listen to this for me? <laughs> I was like, he is so good. And I read your, um, your description and with your profile and everything. I was like, he is too good. And then she made me sit in her office to listen to the whole thing that you said. And she was like, what, is that the end? Why did he stop? Why did he stop? I was like, should I go with him? I need to go with him. She was like, yes, go with him. And um, I showed it to my mom, I showed it to my, my dad. I was like, he is so good. And honestly, he's the best one out of everyone I have. And I already told God I'm gonna go with anyone at this point, but God sent me the right person. 
and so that's how it came to be. But I was, it was kind of frustrating to get the right person, the, the one that had the right British accent and who knew how to bring it to life. So when you sent it to me, I was like, that's God said. That was really God said. It's really good to work with somebody who, who knows it inside out because I have to confess, you know, when I started, uh, when we started putting our books onto audio, I, I did not really know how the system worked at all. <laughs> so it's good to have somebody who knows what they're doing um, work through it. It, it, it wasn't the easiest um, uh, choice to make. And in the end, I think you nailed it perfectly, Graham. So thank you. I absolutely loved it. Like even some of your narration is I couldn't stop laughing at it because you, you'd just done it so well, especially at the start with Gabriel's lines and all. Even me and him were doubled over laughing at some of them. I'll tell you what went very quickly is selecting the narrator. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Head and shoulders above everything we found on ACX. It was like... That's the storyteller right there. That's the guy. And you started reading it, and you were, it, I literally just sat there listening, thinking, this is exactly how I would read it myself. This is how I want it. I was like, brilliant. This is so, I can't believe I've, you know, we've hit the nail right. He's hit, they hit the nail right <laughs> on the head straight away. And I was like, superb. You were outstanding. I couldn't, it, like, you, you, your enunciations, the voice, everything, the voices character voice etc it really just sucks you in i'm telling you it didn't even sound like my book I actually enjoyed it again so i was sitting there reading along my own book listening to you you know for all the files i was just like this is really uh, amazing it really brings it to life it's it's pretty cool thanks so much for for doing such a fantastic job i still get compliments about uh, about that and i th i think i should be directing your fans to to your website <laughs> <laughs>